There is a woman in the scriptures, we all refer to her as the woman with the issue of blood. Nobody will give birth to a, a girl and then name her the issue of blood. But because that was the problem that she was battling with, he became a way of description for the people. Some of us, as I'm speaking now, you could remember some of the names that people have called you, titles that people have called you, some that you just managed to hear. Others, people were bold enough to come to you to call you by that name. But I'm praying for you today. As you raise your hands to the Lord, every situation every negative situation that has become your identity with men may the God of heavens show you mercy in the name of Jesus challenging situations will always come in our lives now you are left with two choices you either allow the situations to make you bitter or you ride the wings of the situations to become better everyone needs a man to lead him away from the place of frustration the bible says moses led the people from the red sea the red sea was the place of dread it was the place of fright but God used Moses to lead them from there. Every one of us that is faced by a Red Sea and you don't know what to do about it, I pray that God will raise up a man for you. Many of us, we have hit a wall in an attempt to make something beautiful with your life in an attempt to make progress in your career, in your business, you run into a wall. And then you are just there, moving round and around. I may not know for how long you have been in that situation. But one thing I know is, you have been there long enough to be unhappy. And if that represents you, that you have been in a situation long enough and you are not happy you are still in that situation if you will stand to your feet and you will raise your right hand to the heavens i stand as god's servant to declare on this altar that the spirit of the lord will take you past that situation in the name of jesus god will move you past that situation in the name of jesus you struggled to go to school because you thought the moment you got your certificate, you will get a good job. But alas, you got the certificate and you couldn't get a job. Oh, you thought if I just manage and I put money together and I buy that car, oh, I'll be able to do a lot of things. But the car has now become the drain to your resources. When the exact opposite is what begins to happen to you. I pray for you today. Any power that says you won't experience or enjoy that which is your expectation, may the Lord frustrate them in the mighty name of Jesus. My advice for you this afternoon is never swallow bitter water. Don't swallow it. Spew it out. No one drinks bitter water that will not have his stomach troubled. And bitterness could come in three ways. Number one, bitterness could come from what the evil that people have done against you. Bitterness could come from the evil you have done to yourself. And bitterness also could come from what life, the negative treatment that life brings your way. For the first two, Learn to forgive. The only medicine that will cure that bitterness is what? Forgiveness. Some of us, we are still in the state of bitterness because we have not forgiven ourselves. I'm not talking about you dealing with others. I'm talking about you dealing with yourself. Some of us can't just get to forgive ourselves. Oh, you did something terrible? Thank God! 
you didn't die in the process God brought you out his mercy brought you out you need to have mercy on yourself too and forgive yourself no matter how horrible what you did to yourself might have been that God allowed you to get past it means that God still has a better plan for your future forgive yourself the latest research has shown that bitterness in the heart could lead to a lot of health issues it affects your metabolism it affects your reasoning it affects everything about you forgive them and then forgive yourself 